Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take you along on a fun little video. I wanted to do a 10 minute tidy up and to challenge myself and see how much I can get done in 10 minutes. It's very hard now, I'm back at work full time, the kids are back in school, so that leaves me a very short amount of time to get the house in order, food on the table, get the kids to sleep, prepare their lunches, and do everything. Um, so I did a little bit of that already today. I prepared their lunches, the kids are sleeping, thank God. But now I just wanna tidy up the space so that it could be nice and fresh and clean in the morning, right as we all get to work and get to school. So I wanted to take you along and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. Now let's get started. Timers on. So right before we get started, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what my house looked like right before I did this tidy up 10 minute challenge and it was a little bit of a mess. My kids did um, have to clean up their playroom so it is somewhat tidy in the playroom as you'll see but the main living area and the dining area and the kitchen definitely needs some TLC and we will get to that. This was, by the way, such a fun video to film. I did not expect that I was going to be able to get so much done in 10 minutes and you'll see I pretty much accomplished everything that I set out to and I'm very pleasantly surprised. And every time I do this like timer challenge with myself and cleaning, I am actually very surprised that I'm able to get so much more done because when you think about it, 10 minutes is not such a great amount of time to be able to tidy up so many spaces. But when you give yourself that challenge, especially when you're not in the mood to do it, you've been working all day and then you come home to the kids. So I do recommend this for everybody to try. At this point, I'm very happy with how the den turned out. I picked everything up, put everything into the right spot, and I'm moving on to the living room and dining room area. I think most people have that one place in their house that collects everything around the house and I feel like this dining room table is one of those spaces 
random books random clothing random things always are collected there so it's always a challenge to tidy up that space for me Now I'm picking up all the laundry and placing them into the hamper and moving on into the kitchen. this point the timer says that i have five minutes left and i'm so super excited because i just have the kitchen left and now i'm getting started by tidying up this space Now I'm going to get started on washing the dishes. I just simply rinse everything off, place it in the dishwasher, and when the dishwasher is full, I start it. I don't usually wash my dishes in a dishwasher every single night. I wait until it's full. So that will usually take about two to three days, and then I make sure it's fully loaded and I start the wash.
Now I'll just take you around and show you the after. So the room is mostly tidy. I got the stuff off of the floor mostly. The pillows are nice and neat. So I'm happy with this room. Let's move on. The living room is also nice. Pillows are away. The dining area is for the most part cleaned. And the kitchen is for the most part clean and tidy. I just have that space to finish up and that shouldn't take me more than five minutes. So it looks like I did mostly everything. I just didn't wipe down this counter right here and have a few dishes to wash. But for the most part, the house is tidy and even though I really didn't want to clean today, I decided to just do 10 minutes and see what I can get done. And because I gave myself this little challenge, I was able to get most of what I wanted done. So I hope this video encourages you to do the same thing and hopefully you will be successful at it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.